and millions of people will get to experience a solar eclipse. Almost eight years ago, Idaho was right in the path of totality, but this time around, the gem state isn't quite in its path. So how much of it will we see and where is the best place to see it in Idaho? On Monday, parts of North America will witness a total solar eclipse. That's when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. When that happens, the sky goes dark. We saw it here in Idaho back in 2017. It went from west to east, and its path of totality, according to NASA, ranged from 62 to 71 miles wide. In Idaho's path, it lasted about 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So, what's different this time around? First, the path. The eclipse will pass over parts of Mexico, the U.S., and Canada going from south to north. And this time, the path of totality will range from 108 miles wide to 122 miles wide. It will also pass over more densely populated areas, meaning more people will be able to see it happen. This year's eclipse will also last longer than it did in 2017, reaching a maximum of about 4 minutes and 20 seconds. So the question remains, will we be able to view it here in Idaho? Yep, right around lunchtime at about 12.30, but for Idahoans, the moon won't fully block the sun, so no total eclipse, but a partial. According to NASA, the Boise area will have a 35% chance. The closer east you get, the better chance you'll have to see it. The areas near Bear Lake has the highest percentage of totality, reaching near 46%. Up north, near Coeur d'Alene, that number will reach about 27%. As with any eclipse, it's unsafe to look directly into the sun without the proper eyewear. Mm. And there's a little bit of a wrench in some of those eclipse viewing plans, Carolyn, because in areas where we have the path of totality, we're seeing good chances of cloud cover and even severe storms in Texas. So that's something that unfortunately viewers will have to deal with tomorrow. Well, we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. You know, you just talked about wearing uh, proper eye protection mm -hmm. right there. We have some information for all of you because if you bought your eclipse glasses this time around off of Amazon, you might want to put them back in the box. Amazon notified buyers that some of the glasses on its site may not be on the Astronomical Society's approved list. Amazon says, quote, while we are not aware of any particular products that are unsafe, we took this action out of an abundance of caution. The company is giving out refunds for those glasses.